Hello, hello everybody! Mitchell here from HL Wow, and today we are back with another episode of Undertale. Now, we shall continue through Waterfall and find all of its glory. There's another box here. Use the box? Sure, what's in it? Alright, only the stuff that I put in there. Still have the spider donut stick and the bandana. I still have the dog residue. Gonna go ahead and put that in the chest. Um, anything else I need? I don't even remember what that food does. So, let's go into the inventory and see what it does. <laughs> For f <laughs> That's funny. Alright, what do we got here? Whoa there, I got some neat junk for sale. Okay, what do you got? Uh, we have the cloudy glasses or the torn notebook. Now, the, the first time I played through this game, I used the cloudy glasses, which made me invincible for longer, but the issue with that is it lowers my defense. So, actually, the better version of that is the torn notebook, which decreases your attack, which is really nice for a pacifist run. I'll also grab the CT for reasons later down the line. Alright. Now, I'm gonna talk to the turtle. Talk about the turtle. I've been around for a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> Alright. What emblem? Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in schools nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune, um, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always says, old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Okay. The emblem, the emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Prophecy, you say? Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us all freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that wing circle the Angel of Death. A harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see the little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> okay, about the king. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around to talk to people. Uh, why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, now that's a great story. Uh, I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I sure will remember it by then. Now, I will get to back to him later. But yes, he will remember it later. Undead? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch my back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> At least he's not going to uh, sell me out. Be careful out there, kid. Alright, let's equip what I got. Okay, let's equip the torn notebook. Alright. Now I'm going to save the CT. I don't actually know if I need the tough glove anymore. I'll hold on to it though. Who knows. Alright, so what's down this way again? Oh, okay. Nothing. Alright, let's move on then. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter the seal, but only a being with a powerful soul can leave. That's why the monsters are trapped underground. There's only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Good luck finding that, though. But this curse place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. Well, that's obviously not true. We will remain trapped down here forever. Now, obviously, that's not true, because I'm here. 
Oh, I hate this puzzle. You have to click on the mushrooms and it will light up the... Light up those things for a short amount of time. Oh, jeez, there's a monster. Special enemy Temmie appears to defeat you. Now, Temmie is a, is a special monster. She's extremely tough normally. She does a lot of damage. But I'm going to flex to make her go away. I flex at me. No! Messes are not cute! Temmie, are you okay? No! Hi. Oh, God. Well, Aaron, ow. Aaron has decided to come visit. And as you can see during their... Um, Aaron is a... I was um, invincible for a lot longer. I flex. And he flexes himself away. I win. Get out of here, Temmie. Alright, now time for a secret, guys. Whee! I'm now off the path! Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Temmy Village. Hi, welcome to Tem Village. Hi, I'm Temmy, and this is my friend Temmy. Hi, I'm Temmy, and this is my friend Temmy. Hi, I'm Temmy. Don't forget my friend. Hi, I'm Bob. <laughs> Oh my god, I love Temmies. You feel something. You're filled with Detemi Nation. Woohoo! Oh, wow, 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 wow. Humans, such a cute. Tim, watch egg! Egg will hot Tim Propel! And it's a hard boiled egg. <laughs> Tim heard a human allergy to Tim. Now, okay, Tim understand. Tim also allergic to Tim. Uh, oh no! He's getting hives! Oh, Tim! What's this? Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? Oh, it symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my hyphae, my struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. He's trapped in Temmie Village. Feeling of being watched, there's a Temmie watch right there. Statue of Tim. Very, very famous! Very! And this is the Tem Shop. Hi, welcome to the Tem Shop! Now this is the one place in the game where you can sell things. <laughs> Butts pie. Now you can sell things here, I'm not going to, but there's a secret with Temmy with Temmy Village. If you are actually able to go up, get help her pay for calling, which is a thousand gold, she will come back and come from Colleg and be able to sell you something called Temmy Armor. Now, Temmie Armor is the most powerful armor in the game. It makes the game a lot easier. Compared to, like, my, maybe, like, 10 defense, maybe. It has, like, 99 something, something like that. Point is, it's ridiculous. The thing is, it's also ridiculously expensive. Now, Temmie Armor actually does go down in price. Every time you die and have to reload your save, Temmie Armor goes down in price. So in theory, you could just kill yourself over and over and over again in order to get super cheap Temi armor. I'm not going to do this because it takes forever, but that is something you can do. Alright, I'm going to talk to Temi. Hi, Temi. Hi, I'm Temi. Um, tell me about yourself. Hi, I'm Temi. <laughs> What's the Temi's history? Us Tems have a deep history. Okay, what about the shop? Yeah, yeah, go to Tem shop. Okay. Thanks for the talk, Temmy. Bye! <laughs> Hi, you should check out Tem Shop! Yeah, yeah, I agree! Check Tem Shop! <laughs> this is Temmy. <laughs> that, that was Temmy Village, ladies and gentlemen. Completely ridiculous. Let's get back on the beaten path. Nope, that's a dead end. I need to see if I can find the correct way to go. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the right. Yeah. Oh, jeez, there's a monster. Is it Temmie? No, Mold Smalls. Why is this one attacking me? Um. Uh, flirt with it? I wiggle my hips. Oh, jeez. Might not have been the best idea. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, jeez. Uh. 
Um, I will hug you. Oh, jeez, that was not the right thing to do at all. Oh, God. Uh. 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 Oh, we need some distance. Oh, I will unhug you then. I the respect of its boundaries. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Ah. Uh, Alright. Now I know that if I find that monster, don't hug it. It doesn't want to hurt me, but I need to respect its boundaries. Oh! The lanterns! If you press on the lanterns, the lanterns will light your way. Oh no, not another monster. Alright. I'll try to get rid of Aaron. I flex. And... Our attack increases. Oh jeez. How? Aaron, get out of here. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Aaron, get out. Bye, Aaron. Ow. Alright, so now I need to have him clean me. Ow. Get out of here, jeez. I'm running low on health. There's a lantern! Okay. Run! I think this is a straight shot. Actually, no it's not. Oh jeez, run. Okay. It's dark in here. It's actually really dark in here. What is this, an echo? Oh, it's an echo flower. Behind you. Oh, it's undyne. Hi. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity. And give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne wants my soul. Here we go. Oh, never mind. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Yo, you did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait, who's she fighting? Uh, hey, hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Lol. I really hope this is a save thing soon. I'd rather not have to use an item if I don't have to. Oh, those are lit up now. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. <laughs> hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it! Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. Aww. All the monsters want is just to be back on the surface. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. That is very broad. It can be either put with the pacifist run or the genocide run. I am going... To... Nope, nope. Never mind. Okay, here we go. I still don't know if I should heal or not. Oh. Yo!
Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I never had to ask this to anyone before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it! Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, uh, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stick at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you, please? No, of course not doing that. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts! Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm gonna go home now. Whoa! Man, you're clumsy. Yo, wait, help! I tripped! Oh god, undone. Don't worry, I'll help you. Yo, dude, if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. Wow, Undyne does not want to hurt that kid. And there she goes. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Kess being enemies is just a nice thought. We'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Be careful this time. Later, dude. All right, there should be a um a safe point up here somewhere. Where? Uh, where's the safe point? Oh, okay. Seven, seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we've collected thus far. Understand, through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No, you know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Undyed. You! You're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams! How these history books made me think humans were cool! With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen! I don't think humans actually have those! But you! You're just a coward! Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again! And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes stick! Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers! You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose! Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> and we are about to fight Undyne, ladies and gentlemen. The wind is howling. You are filled with determination. Here we go. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come! Now, Undyne has a... Oh, here we go. On guard! Now, Undyne has a very special mechanic with how she fights. You have to fit... It's... Um... The only way I can describe it is if anyone's ever played the game Guitar Man, you have to play... It's a... Um... I will... Ch um... It is a uh, timing game where you have to press in the direction that the attacks are coming from. So if they come from up, you have to press... You have to be facing up. Or left, right... Left, right, or down. You'll see it. I tell her attacks are too easy. They get faster. As long as you're green, you can't escape. So basically, I need to hold out until she makes me not green anymore, and then I can run away. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. And since I was facing up automatically, she just does, she just, uh, block, I blocked it automatically. Every time I challenge her, she gets a little 
angry. And that's how I'm gonna make her stop it. Uh, that's how I'm gonna make her let me go. Not bad! Then how about this? And once you know the trick, it's not that difficult. She's getting faster. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. I love Undyne. She's one of my favorite characters in this game. And we're gonna see more of her later. And now, sunlight is just within our reach! Ooh, she almost got me that time. Because I keep telling her to make the attacks faster. She doesn't care! <laughs> I won't let you snatch it away from us! I tell her her attacks are too easy. She doesn't care. Yeah! Enough warming up! Oh god, she got me. Aha! She's let me go! Run! Later! Nah, she caught me again. You won't get away from me this time! Now basically, we just need to keep running until we can get away from her. I challenge her again. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor! Yeah, your attacks are too easy, Undyne. No human has ever made it past Asgore! Ooh. That, you tricky! You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. They get unfair. Killing you now is an act of mercy! Holy crap! Yeah, I would say they're getting unfair. The bullets get unfair. So stop being so damn resilient! Holy crap. Oh jeez! No! At least this attack is simple. That is not what I meant to do. Uh, what I meant to do is run away! You've escaped from me for the last time! He's told me humans were determined. We are determined. And those yellow ones, they'll try to flip backwards on you. So, don't be fooled by those. The attacks are too easy. I see now what she meant by that. Oh god. Oh jeez. I'm gonna have to eat some ice cream. But I'm determined too! Boom, 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 boom. Ha ha! Take that, Undyne. Determined to end this! Holy crap! She is very tough. She is the leader of the Royal Guard. Right now! Her attacks are too easy. Right now! They're too easy, Undyne. Now she is dealing a bunch of- she is dealing damage to me. Yeah, die already, you little brat! Oh jeez. Run! I'm out of here. I can't- What? Oh. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think we would make great pals! Let's meet up at her house later. Uh, I'm in the middle of something, Papyrus! Stop running away! Oh, ha! She's keeping me red, so I can just keep running over and over again. Run! Oh, jeez! Hi, Sans! Oh, jeez! <laughs> that was funny! She just stopped look and looked at Sans, she's like, WHAT?! Armor, so hot, but I can't give up. Uh, oh, Undyne. Oh, I keep I kept pressing the X button to try to open up my menu. No wonder I wasn't get, getting anything. Oh wait, no, no, probably should not do that. No, no, no. 
the fight's over, so I'm gonna be getting some, uh, getting a healing thing soon. Now, you can either go, or you can take a cup of water and help her, and that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Give some water to Undyne. I pour it on her face, on her right cheek. I help you. What you gonna do? <laughs> she doesn't know. Bye, Undyne. I wonder if Sans is still there. Nope, Sans is gone. No, Sans! <laughs> Why? It was funny, though. Oh, who are you? Okay, K, 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 K. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Why didn't you just get a drink in Waterfall? Okay, it's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Sure. Here, you want a cup of water? Okay, K, K, K. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. Well, I was trying to be nice, but okay. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. <laughs> That's funny. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Laboratory? Right, there's a laboratory over here. But we will get to the laboratory in the next episode. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Undertale with HL Wow. Mitchell recording, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Later, guys!